Okay, for those of you who tried to jump on the Zoom call tonight, I am really sorry. We're, we're all just kind of new to this technology stuff, right? But I thought I would quickly at least run through what we wanted to talk about tonight and give you some ideas and pointers, and hopefully this will help somebody to have an extra special week um, and to really make some happy progress in their life. So tonight we're talking about self-care and, and how to really make sure that you are finding yourself in a place of love and peace and happiness that you can move forward with all the things that you would like to do with your life. So this has to do with kind of a healthy mind, a healthy mindset, a happy heart, um, and, and figuring out how to manage any self-sabotage or any all or nothing thinking. Um, and then your limiting beliefs that keep you from, you know, achieving what you want to achieve. So um, I have a question first. So if we really believed if you really believed that you deserved and were perfectly capable of achieving all of your goals, would you ever self-sabotage yourself if you really believed? Now, somebody out there somewhere definitely believes in you. And how much better will things go if you also believe in yourself, right? So I want you to picture yourself and you might already be in this place a lot of the time, completely lacking in any self-punishment. I never punish myself for, I don't know, eating that chocolate cake, or I slept in and didn't go to the gym, or I yelled at my kids too much today. I never punish myself for that. Um, I want you to picture yourself completely lacking in any woe is me. Oh, why are my troubles so hard? Why do I have this trouble? Why do I constantly have this problem in my life? Why are my kids this? Why is my work this? Why, why me? Why me? Why me? I want you to also picture yourself completely lacking in worry. Worrying about money, worrying about health, worrying about finances, worrying about kids. And I know that that's always going to be something to do with, but what if, we, what if we didn't have any worry? How great would that be? I want you to picture yourself completely lacking in any pity parties. No pity parties. Oh, I didn't get that job. Or, oh, I didn't lose a pound this week. Or, oh, my kids just are driving me crazy. No pity parties. What if you lived in a world where you never gave up? What if you lived in a world where there were no limits? Because that world that you've created is within you. Okay? So now I want you to picture yourself full of these things, full of peace, full of steadfastness, full of belief, full of joy, full of gratitude, and full of this idea of limitlessness, that as I move forward in my life, and yes, there may be obstacles and things beyond my control, but that I move through and around and over and under and I love it. I love the journey. And I love what I'm able to accomplish daily. And I love myself. So how do we fill our wells? How do you fill your bank? If you have a, a vault within you or a, or a well within you that you can fill. And really only you. Let's just say it really is only you. You're the only one that can fill this bank or this well from which you can draw. From which you can draw and then give. Okay? You cannot give anything that you don't have, right? I think we all understand that concept for the most part. You cannot give love if you don't have love. You cannot give time if you don't have time. You cannot give money if you don't have money. You cannot give health if you don't have health. Um, and so these are things that we want to be able to fill in ourselves daily so that we can feel good about ourselves and also be able to give to others, our children, our husbands, our wives, our, our, our neighbors, our friends whoever crosses our path that we want to be able to serve. So how can we fill ourselves? Okay, so we're going to talk about some daily habits now that um, I hope you will find something in this little list of things that I'm going to give you that will really allow you to kind of just feel good, feel good. So when I talk to my clients, by the way, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Katherine Monson. I'm a certified health coach and a certified personal trainer, and I love it. And I've been health coaching with Hip Shape for Life for um, four years. And uh, I personally lost 45 pounds on this program and have kept it off, and I just love it. So it makes a huge, huge difference in, in, um, in my life and in my family's life, my friends, everybody. So it's just great. So hi, that's me, a little bit of me. Um, 
So starting your day, how do you start your day? Maybe with some quiet time, maybe with some meditation, maybe with um, some exercise or even just some stretching, maybe uh, listening to an audio book or you have your list of positive affirmations posted on your mirror and as you're doing your makeup, you're reading through them, okay? And saying them out loud to yourself. Look yourself in the eyes and say these things, okay? Um, I re was reminded, I actually tried to find the video clip of Allie McBeal. Do you guys remember that show, Allie McBeal? I never really watched it, but I did watch this one episode where Allie McBeal had this theme song. And whenever she was feeling down about something or she was feeling frustrated, she would just play this theme song in her mind and instantly her, her whole demeanor would change. She would start to pick up the pace. She would start to just smile and, and, and start to love herself again and to kind of pick herself back up. So that's kind of one of the, I actually wanted to find that clip and I'm like, we each need a theme song. So maybe you need to start your day with the theme song. I actually had the one, um, I'm titanium, you know, it's like just anything that really speaks to you and goes, yeah, that's me. That's who I want to be even. Okay. So how do you start your day? Um, if there are not systems in place for getting everybody out the door on time or things like that, if you, if your mornings are normally stressful, change one thing. Maybe it's really just getting up five minutes earlier and taking that time to just really be in your zone and be really, really excited and willing to take on the challenges of this day, whatever they are. That you have that within you. You have the power. You have the control. You have the strength. You have the love. You have the belief that this is going to happen. You're going to get through this day, and it's going to be awesome. Okay? And then how do you end your day? As you wash your face at night, wash off your makeup and brush your teeth and are getting ready to lie down and rest for the night, what's on your mind? Are you <sighs> exhausted and tired from all of the things that didn't go right today? Or are you counting your wins? Counting your wins. What did I do right today? Maybe my win today is that everybody's still alive. I'm alive. My husband's alive. My kids are alive. We're all alive. The dog's alive. We're all just really happy. We, we just made it. We're, it's the end of the day. We got through it. That's a big win sometimes. But maybe it's that you did a little act of service. Maybe it's that you smiled at somebody. Maybe you um, had a goal to um, clean out a drawer and it happened. Even if you only got halfway through and then a child needed you, something. So count your wins for the day. No matter how big, no matter how small, they're yours. Own them, love them. You were awesome today, okay? Again, read through your positive affirmations and then look yourself in the eyes and tell yourself, I love you. I love you. You are worth it. I'm worth it. I look myself in the eyes sometimes at the end of the day. Sometimes all I can do is just say, you're going to be okay. Sometimes that's all I can do. But when you feel that little bit of love, I feel like too, sometimes you get a little bit of that love that God has for you in there. Yeah. And then you can give and can do the things that you want to do and start all over the next day. So throughout the day, we are a golden rule family here in this house, in my house of me and my two girls. We try to be in anyway. And um, that is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So how are you treating yourself? Do you treat yourself the way that you would want other people to treat your children? Would you ever want some, so that's kind of how I want you to think about this golden rule and in, 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 as it applies to you. How would you want other people to treat your children? Would you want them to... I oh, can't believe you did that. You totally messed that up. Is that how, what, you, what you would want them to say to your child? Um, treat yourself with love and kindness. And as you do, we'll kind of notice yourself beating yourself up throughout the day. Don't judge. Don't be like, oh, I'm beating myself up again. Just notice and go, okay, and flip that around. All right, I was thinking poorly about myself. Wow, that's not taking good care of myself. That's not loving myself. I want to um, change that around. Okay, that's right. What are my positive affirmations again? Okay, yeah. And just move forward and just keep going. So start to kind of notice what you'd say to yourself throughout the day. Um, thinking back to when I introduced myself as a health coach, what I was going to say is uh, when I start the program with my clients, I tell them, this is, we don't do diets. This is not a diet. You're not on a diet. You're not, it's not a diet. 
you are learning to take care of yourself. When people ask you, wow, you're looking great, you're losing so much weight, what are you doing? You don't say, oh, I'm doing this diet. What is that? This is your health program. This is your body. And you love yourself enough, and you know you're worth it, to take good care of yourself. I am learning to take care of myself. I am learning to take care of myself. And because I don't have this limited thinking, and because I'm not an all or nothing type of person, right? Because if I can't be 100%, if I can't be all, then I'm going to be nothing? That doesn't make any sense, right? So if I can't be all, I can be as much as I need to be today. I'm enough. I'm enough. So start your day, happy thoughts, theme songs, positive affirmations, a little bit of quiet time, a little bit of me time. End your day. I love you. I'm enough. I'm awesome. I have a lot to give. I'm cherished. I have all of these things that I did right today. And throughout the day, be nice to yourself. You're learning to take care of yourself, and it is a process. So a little bit of thoughts about self-care. So have a wonderful week. Fill yourself up, and then enjoy giving. <laughs>